is a small town, Hutchinson, that we love coming to. They have three really, really nice big antique shops and a thrift store here coming up that I want to stop in. I found some really great little Christmas items so cheap at this thrift store up here early in December. So I hope they're open. It'll be my luck. It's, it's a Wednesday to find out. It'll be my luck that it's a weekend thing, but I hope I, I hope they're open. It's here. right yeah, it's right here. Yeah, junk and treasures. No, it's this this one. See, I bet they're Oh, it's that one. Uh, uh huh. I never get to places like these, and yeah. they're never open when we end up in these uh, little towns. We're we gonna go to the big one then. Yeah. So we'll go on to um, Main Street Antiques. Um, Antiques, just down the road here on the left. I'm gonna go around and back. Yeah. So now, what river is this up here, Norm? The bridge there. I think it's the Crow River. It's very nice. The Crow River flows through this area. A big park right there by the river. But, well, we'll go around park and back. And they've got a Dairy Queen too. That's important. Got to have a Dairy oh, Queen in the town. For Norm only. I have to have an ice cream cone before I leave town. Not me. <laughs> no, not, it's cheap not, ice cream, but it's good. Not Dairy Queen anyways. Sorry. All right, here's the back entrance. We have a very nice place to park. Vintage. Vinet. Vinet. Oh, okay. Ventique. I just glanced I don't know how you say that. That was weird. Well, here's... Ask him inside. Here's looking towards the park over there again and the river. Nice town. It is. This place has got really cheap. This prices. is Main Street. Also. Antiques. Really good. Vintique. How do you say that? V I N T I. -N -T -I. It's like the end of antique. Vintage and antique. Wow, it's nice and quiet in here. I don't know how much this is, but wouldn't that make a nice canister set? Wow. I doubt that there's anything inside of it. Nope. It's probably by Lefton. That's Lefton. So that's going to be really noisy. My phone picks up every little noise you make. Very, very loud. Yeah, that's really sweet. These two are cute. It is a salt and pepper set, eight dollars. Squirrels. A lot of people don't like squirrels, but I don't know. They look like chipmunks to me. It's the striping. Yeah. If they were squirrels, they'd be gray. No wonder nobody's buying them. They probably think they're squirrels. <laughs> I've admired this lusterware bird for about a year. I don't think I ever intend to get it, but boy, this is hard to reach and I can't read it. The price tag, I can't read it. But anyways, I wanted to see, show you what's next to it. Oh my goodness, these are huge. They're really something. Look at that outfit on her. Sorry, the lighting is just not going to be that great. They're so backlit. Wish you could see. Doesn't she have shoulder pads? <laughs> I think so. He really does too. Very broad shoulders. Well. They are so cool. Oh, 
crazy. I don't know how much they are either. There's a fancy green Aladdin. 135. Huh. This is a very pretty set. Beautiful. Probably Fenton. Let's see if it says. Yeah, it's a Fenton, but Benton turquoise. Hmm, beautiful. Is that a hundred and forty dollars? Wow. Yep. And I have that. Fifty-eight. Whoa! I didn't pay fifty-eight for that. Well, do I have that size? Hmm. I found a duck like that, one of those ducks by Hull. Yeah, there's two of them. Yeah, Small no down. wonder, yeah, that's why. It, you get two of them for 58 bucks. Yeah. Plus a... Towel. Towel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever that is. Anyways. So, there's a lot of nice pieces in here. Norm, how much are these statues up there? I was just showing everybody those yes. incredibly tall statues. Uh, Unbelievable. Must be free. You think they're three feet oh, tall? Oh, they're really heavy. They're really heavy, too. Oh, uh, three feet tall. I uh, keep I moving my phone down. I don't see any. Oh, well. I don't even feel a tag on it. Oh, well. No problem. Gotta be free. Make sure they have all the good stuff when you walk in. Here's a really cute little tin norm. Spice of life. <laughs> Cayenne pepper though, but what? it's only three dollars. It's just such a retro looking tin, the spice of life one. Oh yeah. Very retro design. I love the star on the life. But it's only three dollars. That's really reasonable. Okay. A lot of these tins, you know, they end up being... Oh, here's another one, curry powder. Yeah, they're cute. I've never heard of that Spice of Life one. Is that I one? think I got one in Winona. Just oh. one. Yeah, cute. This is a TV lamp planter. $55. dollars I don't know, Lane and Company. I had the Lane and Company Siamese Cats TV lamp that my brother gave me. I haven't shown it in any video, but I probably will this year, maybe this winter yet. It's pretty. Just, uh... Look at the size of the Santa. He is giant. Oh. Bucks. Really, really a giant. Forty-eight dollars. Mm -hmm. Huge. Going to Christmas. This is um, the back of the store, and there's always so many fun things back here. See this fun orange? I have a green one like that and an orange one. California drip glaze planter. These two are really sweet. <laughs> white hats. I like white hats like that instead of black. And I love black and white figurines. That's very cute too. So cheap. $7.95. Oops. $7.95. Oh, are they heavy? Wow. Well, they're bookends. So, they'd be awfully far apart as bookends. <laughs> They're cute to keep them together. This lady for $14.95. It's pretty fancy. Looks Western to me. I don't know. 
Here's some fancy gloves. Ah, cute. There's music playing back here. That will be an issue. Lots of advertising type things in this booth. Here's a picture very much like one that I have. It's only fourteen fifty. It's most likely Hazel Atlas with that ribbed top on it. I've seen it here for quite a while. I don't need it. Well, again, the music is playing. It's a little quieter back here, but I hope it's not going to be a problem. I just wanted to give you a little look down one aisle in the back. I had to show you this candy dish. Now, I've never... Move away from that 30% off sign. <laughs> <laughs> Except firm. Does it say firm on there? No, it doesn't. How much is it? 22 for 18. 
18 already it's marked down? Yeah, no, it's $22 marked down to 18. But it's still 30% off of that? Yeah, it's... Do you, have you ever seen anything like this? It's not glued together. Atlas candy dish. Atlas? Atlas, yeah. Hazel Atlas? Isn't that That hazel? is fantastic. Oh my goodness, I've never seen a candy dish look like that. Looks like somebody glued a sherbet dish on the bottom, doesn't it? That's a really heavy top. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, I'd like to know what they how mean by Atlas. How fancy the edge is, too. Top edge. Yeah. Scalloped, or whatever you call that. Oh, that's crazy funny. Crazy fancy. Are you going to take it home, put it on a shelf, and break the shelf? Yeah, boy, I tell you, stuff like that's heavy. <gasps> that's beautiful. Okay. Oh, my. Ah, oh, decisions, decisions. I just... Sometimes when you see a really incredible piece and it's such a deal, you feel that's fantastic and would be really fun to display, but then you think about storage. Oh, wow. All right. Tell me how much it is. This is pretty cute for two ninety five. dollars It's just a small little jar, but love the strawberries on it and the red top. I would enjoy having that in my strawberry February decor. Be cute for summer too. I think I'll pass on that. That's the one that's up front. They got one like that up front. This is sixty dollars. A little tin bunny and fifty-nine cart. Yeah, I wonder what the one up front. Oh, fifty-nine. <laughs> Isn't that neat? That is so cute. But we're really not into tin toys. They're pretty expensive. Very cute, though. Cool. Isn't this gorgeous? Yeah. It's dated on the bottom by a hobbyist. Initials and the date February 10th, 1960. Look at how these pine cones stick out. Oh, that is so rough. But look at the gold on it. I've never seen anything like that either. Did a good job painting it. Oh, it's just incredible face for winter. It's kind of off-white, so that doesn't... Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, no, it says... <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah, you nut. It's, yeah, it's it's too hard for me to show off-white things very well. It has to be all by itself. I made that mistake with some swans early on. But that's just incredible. Oh, it keeps going out of focus. I remember correctly, a can of spray paint mm. fixed the swans, though. Yes, it did. I think that's fantastic. It is. Do you know how much it is? Uh, twelve dollars or something. You, you have to look on the bottom or the back. The back. Eleven. Eleven dollars. Eleven dollars. It says mid-century. Mid-century vase, eleven dollars. Wasn't that neat? Like you could this. probably sell that for twelve. No, you'd sell it for. <laughs> I'd sell that for fifty, forty-nine. How oh, you like that? We can take it home, make a profit, pay for the gas, and come out here. Just look at how pretty it shines. Nice job painting. Oh man, I'm in awe. Uh, it's just so, it's just so artistic, and then very modern shape. Uh, uh sorry, it keeps going out of focus. It's just unbelievable. Uh. Really hard focusing on it. That's cool. Why is guy's stuff so expensive? It's a hundred and sixty five dollars. Jeez. Three dollars for a pair of salt and pepper bride and groom. Oh wow. Well, 
You think that's a bride and groom norm? I don't know, but they're off white. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm not talking about getting them. I just think, just showing people how cheap things are in this. Just wanted to point it out that they're off white. In this place. I just don't understand her outfit. I'm just assuming she doesn't have a bridal veil on, though. That's kind of odd, but... It's like a bride and groom in a way to me. It says groom, bride and groom. See, I'm having a hard time reading sideways and upside down. But yeah, that's what it is. I have that problem, too. Yep. Another example to show you. Seven fifty for this very fancy guy. He'd probably be very cute in Valentine decor if you like these fancy um, figurines like that. Victorian, I think. But anyways, seven fifty. Wow. I have a shoe on the bottom of it. No. That's showing you the, all the pink glassware. <laughs> that's not. That's Japanese. Um, uh, crap, or call it porcelain. Like Anyways, he's still talking about that figurine back there. Um, isn't that pretty? All this pink glass. Lots of toys and things up here. I've seen these crazy lamps from the 90s, but I can't say that I've ever... I even bought one or two of them way back in the... 90s, but I've never seen them with um, that Daffy Duck and the Tasmanian Devil Disney characters. I think that's what that is. No, that's not Disney, Warner Brothers, right? Yeah, you're probably right. Warner Brothers characters on it. Now, where would you put that? Oh, man. let's go see if we can see what's on the back. Oh, Tweety Bird. The bird and, and uh, is that Felix the cat? No, the skunk. Fifi Le Pew? <laughs> you don't know. I what don't is the know. name of that skunk? Oh, French skunk. Oh, that is so oh. funny. Oh, and what's this? Is that a Mario Brothers character? I don't know, honey. Come and look. That's just, yeah, I did, but I don't know who it is. But, well, it's just kind of weird. I don't that know they either. Put stuff like that on a lamp that. Yeah. Oh, elegant. here's Sylvester. Seventeen dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> That's worth it for just for those paintings of Warner Brothers characters. Oh, that's crazy. I think I've seen everything now. And I think you have. People really love these very modern wood gazelles for. Mid-century, modern, bohemian style decor. Laura Caldwell would buy that from the um, Recycled Life gals. I watch them all the time. Love their very fun videos, but she buys everything wood. <laughs> She's very cool, though. Look at twelve dollars for this beautiful Fenton I am gonna call it cabbage rose don't know but I'm assuming she does have it Mark Fenton beautiful bowl yep boy if you collect the blue blue milk glass and well it's milk glass to me slag glass anyways that's beautiful. I just love it when antique shops put all this glassware in the windows. That's not a lot right there, but it's still colorful. Two ninety-five for a little hobbyist snowman with a sparkly tear in his eye. Cause he fell down. Bet that hurt. I think of these lightweight ones being like the quilted softies, they call them too, those reindeer that I've found three of. Big ones and three little ones, 
in a sleigh this year, this past year. Yeah, maybe the 80s, early 80s. Very cute. 295. Huh. Wow. Look at this fun old rhinestone bracelet for 295. Isn't that pretty? This is a monster clock. Look at the swans on the side. 24.95. Isn't that nuts? Whoa. It's really, really big.